Say the word and I will stay exactly where I am. How could you do this? I have news that can't wait. You're here to arrest me? I want to tell you what happened. That's the last thing you want to do. Can you hear me? Eddie! On General Hospital, Heather has never been what we would call stable. Regular viewers are aware of that. However, it still felt like a huge leap to learn that she was a serial killer with a hook that killed Brit and other people. However, it looks like we may now know why it occurred, clearing her of at least her most horrific acts. Because we discovered in today's episode that Heather had metallicis, which resulted in cobalt poisoning from her hip replacement. To be honest, neither Heather nor the show were entirely sure when this hip replacement occurred or how long the cobalt has been contaminating her blood and mind. It's unclear in full whether this will be used to either lessen her acute murderous impulses or provide an explanation for her general mental instability. However, in terms of justifications, it's not too awful. Metallicis, despite the strange name, is a true ailment that is frequently brought on by metal joint replacements, grinding against one another and releasing metal particles into the blood. There is also a very serious risk of cobalt toxicity from hip replacements. Drug Watch reports that depression and other mental health conditions, as well as cognitive impairment, are possible signs of cobalt toxicity. Here, we're depending on knowledge beyond our own to make sense of some really sophisticated medical studies. Gray's Anatomy even looked into this a few years ago after Dr. Richard Weber was found to have cobalt toxicity from his hip replacement, which left him acting wildly abnormal and resulting in dementia and Parkinson's-like symptoms. That being said, there's no information on whether it can turn you into a serial killer, but if that's the rationale, we'll accept it. It wouldn't be a stretch to imply that adding to Heather's mental health issues could have driven her to some extreme and dangerous places, since she has never been well-balanced. Furthermore, Heather and Laura had a really moving conversation that masterfully tackled the somewhat jumbled nature of soap opera characters. Laura intervened as Heather was processing her diagnosis. She said, I feel like I've lived a few different lives, if that makes you feel any better. And occasionally, I cannot always make the connection between them. How arbitrary, Heather exclaimed. It's simply so jumbled. I occasionally feel like I'm falling. And that speaks directly to the core of how various authors may give people distinct personalities, which occasionally leads to some very dramatic leaps. And judging on the content that the new writers for General Hospital are starting to air, it appears that this could be the case at the moment. Except now, they're attempting to restore things to their previous state rather than making another haphazard leap. Heather gave her approval for the replacement to be surgically removed. Even if there are hazards, people can go back to their usual, healthy selves after the cobalt poisoning stops. We suppose we'll find out what that means for Heather soon enough. But if nothing else, it might just permanently halt her decline.